Hey guys, I'm absolutely livid. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm I'm here. I'm Christopher and yep. I'm relatively content. Uh my name is also Brian. We're the Pixel Com squad. And Austin, why why are you livid? And uh we are doing a commentary on the Sonic the Hedgehog fan film by Blue Core Studios. Now, we can't actually put the video on our channel because that's wrong. So, we're going to do a countdown uh, starting at the zero, uh, zero, second, zero minute zero seconds on their channel. So, when we hit, when we say start, uh, press play on their video and you'll be all synced up. Mm -hmm. So, Brian, you would you like to do the honors? Uh, okay. All right. Ready, people? Mm -hmm. All right. Three, two, one, play. That's not start. Doesn't well, matter. I already pressed it. Same thing. <laughs> I, I'm still not prepared for this. Ariel, nothing can prepare you for this. I don't even know what's coming. I have no concept of what's coming. So. Um, bad CGI and oh. well, no, Sonic. no, this. Like, wait for it. Wait for it. We're gonna see it in like a, a couple seconds. Well, but it's like the really best. Good. Logo this logo ring. Really good. This ring looks amazing. I do like the ring. This is the best CG in the entire <laughs> th film. <laughs> oh shit, it stopped. See right now. I'm gonna collect the shit out of that ring in a minute. <laughs> and now it just shat out the Chaos Emeralds. That fire looks terrible. Because <laughs> it looks like it's on top of the... Featuring the Jaleel White. You guys... You guys know what that means. One, two, three, four. No. Okay. Sonic is in this film sometimes. <laughs> oh. Sometimes? <laughs> you will see, Ariel. Establishing shot. Establishing <laughs> shot. Clouds. Whatever that is. Okay. Oh my god. Very it's awkward egg CG shirt. model. It's yeah, the it egg toy. It's the egg carrier. I think if the entire film was the same quality, but like using the CGI with a. Uh, okay, wait, wait. Look at when these robots land. They do not, like, the the environment does not react to them at all. Oh, I mean, that's hard to do. The robots themselves look good, though. No, it's not. You can use a fan to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they could have. Or they could have just cut shit, the shots they so you just... don't see them hit the ground. They could have animated, like, debris, like... Like, d animated the leaves. Look little, at that explosion! <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> it's the egg fleet, Brian. Apparently, there aren't Eggman supposed to be that many made a egg million carriers. egg carriers. <laughs> no, like it, it. The CGI would be good if it was in a movie with this that entirely. Wait, if it was Sonic all CG. Oh, oh look, Brennel Floss. Floss. I thought we were on Mobius. <laughs> Actually, Mobius isn't canon anymore. Well, it just said we were on Mobius. I know. I'm just talking like in terms of like the comics. Mobius isn't canon anymore. It is now known as Sonic's World. Okay. That's what it's that been called even back... before Sonic was born. <laughs> All right, but there aren't people on Mobius. Why'd they say we're on Mobius? There are people on Mobius. <laughs> they are? Yeah. I did not know that. <sighs> Oh, hi, AVGN. I see what they did with the name. <laughs> well, that's from the comics. That his name's just Robotnik backwards? Yeah. Oh, I missed that. 
That's kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't see what the point of him having a different name at the beginning if he's just going to change it. <laughs> like, okay. Like, that's way too convenient. <laughs> Well, I don't see what a giant truck uh, going through a city street is going to do against the Maple Leafs, <laughs> but okay. See, they did unless, it, unless, it's the truck, unless it's the truck from Generations with the rocket boosters, that shit's amazing. <laughs> yeah, so far this isn't terrible or anything. Needs more mustache. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> I am not digging this voice. Nothing against Holy shit. Sonic the looks spines, awful. The spines, though. <laughs> uh, I'll give looks him like props I'm... for trying to do hair. I mean, it looks I like I'm viewing it through a beer bottle. <laughs> How did Doug end up in this? How did what is wrong with... end up in this? <laughs> because they were asked. No, this next scene is really <laughs> it's not even good touching to him. watch. Roboticization? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an actual think, term. Isn't it just roboticization? <laughs> no. How do you... S anyway, look There's at this some... animation. <laughs> Sonic I don't know crashing just into it. flies him. into their body. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I tripped. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Julia White, you've aged terribly. <laughs> yeah. The voice doesn't even sound <laughs> like it does in the cartoons, which is still like... It's just like, the fuck am I in? <laughs> yeah. Like, that voice doesn't work for modern Sonic, I'm sorry. It doesn't work I, for I Sonic. I think it works perfectly for Sonic. It doesn't mean I like it, but I think it works for Sonic. No, it doesn't. It should be deeper. <laughs> He's a hedgehog. They don't He's an have anthropomorphic sounds. blue hedgehog that can run super fast. <laughs> his his he, he's his voice should match his stature, yes, but it shouldn't be like. I think it can fit, but I think the voices changed dramatically from when Joe Jill White did it first in the. Cartoons, which it is still fits debatably. In Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic Underground, nothing else. Yeah, it's not good in this one. Well, it wasn't it, just because it fits doesn't mean it's good, but it's not. It doesn't fit in this one because he sounds different. It, it's trying to this whole thing's trying to take itself so seriously, and he yeah. sounds like that. <laughs> yeah, it's not the right voice to use. Also, this is a torture scene. Sonic. And by the way, this is like this was made to like pitch to Sega to make an actual movie. Um <laughs> They should have went with the modern Eggman design just because the classic Eggman design only really works if you are an actual circle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think a costume looks fine. I said I think the mustache game needs to be stepped up, though. Yeah, his mustache should should span at least like three quarters of his shoulders. <laughs> it's it's a it's a toned down outfit. Well, I still think the mod yeah, but the modern design would have worked better for this. Like the tone. No, I of agree. This. The only reason it's classic is because 
Oh, hey guys, we played the games. We know what this looks like. Remember this? Are we just saying? <laughs> the blue blur. Uh, again, that's what See? he's called. Not anymore See? because it's, it's a dumb name. It is a dumb name. That's why it's stupid that he said it. <laughs> See, uh, what do you think that dinky pea shooter is going to do? <laughs> Let's well shoot spitballs at it. <laughs> but like, these people know about Sonic 06, right? One of Sonic 06 is. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you were talking about the actors. Never mind. Go ahead. One of 06's major problems is that this. the story takes the... itself far too seriously, and that I feel like this film is making the exact same mistake. <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on. We're about to see, like, classic Sonic badniks. Which does not work at all for this. Okay. Like, the, the E-series, those those red robots we just found. The, the, the gamma robots. They look fine. Buzz Bombers, on the other hand, oh. do not work with this tone at all. Do not at all. Oh, shit. <laughs> they also look terrible. Uh, I mean, the sound effect was good, though. It sounded like a dentist drill. <laughs> Sonic doesn't look like gravity okay. affects him at all. <laughs> no, that that scene they just did, he went over the sun and didn't block, like... <laughs> like, the... the gl it, it did not look good. I, I think it's hard to make a serious movie about Sonic. Especially when there's people, too. Ariel, it, yeah, which it, is why you shouldn't do it. <laughs> well, that's yeah. why people shouldn't be there, to be completely honest. This is what I'm talking about. Like, just the tone and personality of Sonic, it doesn't mesh well with, like, these, I guess, more intense themes. <laughs> so you get a weird disconnect. It's distracting. By the way, Sonic's hitting on that girl. That's not okay. <laughs> That's not okay. Why is this movie making all the mistakes that 06 made? Well, Brian, <laughs> this same guy in his Mega Man fan film wrote a scene where, remember, Mega Man and Roller si a brother and sister. Oh no! Mega Man walks into the shower on Roll. You know what I he wrote it. Uh, he wrote it out. Uh, he wrote it out because. He said it had really weird incestuous vibes and it was kind of messed up. It's messed up that you wrote that. Yeah, like, how'd that get past... How'd that get onto the paper? <laughs> Good lord. I love the way he said suckers. <laughs> I just... So... I can't get over whole... the voice acting. Because it's not even Sonic Underground voice acting. It's so much worse than that. <laughs> He's just floating above the ground. Hey, they did have grass flying, though. Barely. He is, because you can tell when the grass is CGI when they do move it, and they mostly don't. Hey. How is Eggman hearing him just now? <laughs> Those are just gliding. <laughs> I thought that's exactly what they were supposed to be doing. They have wheels. No, they have no. a wheel. A single oh. wheel. <laughs> okay, well, I was under the impression they were gliding, so... You know, you'd think they'd figure out Sonic <laughs> There's on no top effect of on the environment at <laughs> yeah. all. At least blow like a fan. Like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for that one, they could have just... Not, like, ridden a bike, but left tracks in the grass... Yeah. Also, I don't understand how he defeated those three badniks just now. Yeah, Didn't did do that, anything. That That's I don't not know how missiles work. This part is a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> a pit. Also, they messed up on the animation on like, his you... leg right there. It went through his stomach. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait, can he fly now? No, no. He survives he's going due to with bad style, writing. But he's just not going to die for some reason. 
He's gonna use his spines as a parachute. Or to that. Be, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> to be that fair, in too. Sonic Advance 2, Sonic falls from space and he survives by landing on his feet. Well, it's all it's yeah. all that running. <laughs> <laughs> really, really strong legs. Look at all these characters we care about. <laughs> That's racist. Oh my god. I don't care. The racist tones were in the early Archie comics, but they're dumb and they didn't need to be there. Yeah. And I honestly <laughs> don't like a... Ken Pender's writing anyway. Like, we know he's on our side, but can we trust him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I if there were anthropomorphic no talking animals people wouldn't be racist they would just go or species cis at this point <laughs> they would just go holy fucking shit talking yeah. animals well no badass. in this world they're they're, they're commonplace well, maybe if they're all like Sonic, then they would be. <laughs> His head has this very strange shape. Not that you can really do anything about the shape of your skull, but it's just very noticeable when you don't have hair. Yeah. Well, at least we can't blame that on the CG. No. <laughs> oh, look, it's one of those dollar store gems. <laughs> You know what? I'm impressed that the glasses are stained. Holy crap! <laughs> I didn't realize they didn't have the, the yeah, earpieces. <laughs> the fuck? You know what? I'll give them props for that. It's yeah. Tricky. Yeah, it was good. And the cinematography wait, 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 okay. is really wait, wait, good on I'll... this film. Yeah, they framed everything really we... nicely, but when they have Sonic fighting the robots in the trees, it just doesn't look right. I'd just like yeah. to point out, real world woods right there. This uh, CG checkerboard hillsides right next to them. <laughs> yeah, it just like if the entire movie was like that, it would it would have some, and it didn't take itself so seriously. It would have some chance of being de like good, but it's not. They have yeah, like, a a fake see, Sonic running in good. a real wor world. See, this looks good. Yeah. Like I, I, if this was the actual Sonic movie, I would be like cool with it, but no, putting a fake Sonic in a real world, which is what you would always have to do if you did a real life Sonic thing. Oh, and now Knuckles. Oh, holy crap! <laughs> His gross fingers. fingers. Why? His no. Gross fingers. <laughs> oh. And then they desecrate the Sonic Adventure logo. Wait a minute, is that it? That's uh, it. Yes. I don't even know what he accomplished. Were they planning on making another one? It was a proof of concept. They wanted to take this to Sega so they could get funding for an actual movie. You know, they put well, a lot of effort into it, but just a serious, gritty Sonic movie, I, I don't think it works. It's if, that juxtaposition. It the, doesn't work. Yeah. The, to me, the perfect combination of like seriousness... And like lightheartedness for Sonic is Sonic Unleashed in terms of tone, not like writing, is Sonic Unleashed and Sonic and the Black Knight. Yeah, those work. You see, like what we're, we're I'm not saying that you can't have Wait a the minute. stakes be one high. One of the credits was situations. Evan Stanley. Why? Wait, what? <laughs> one of the credits was one of the Archie writers. Oh my god. Now I just feel terrible. <laughs> By the way, uh, Sonic can mess with, uh, I guess, more mature themes, but when you when you start like making those themes overtake, you know, the, the tone that that's that Sonic is supposed to be in, <laughs> mm -hmm. it, it 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 just messes up the whole experience, and and it, 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 it create. I said it before, and I'll say it again. It creates a disconnect that's distracting, and that's all you can pay attention to. Yes, yeah, Sonic the... can do serious, but you have to know how to write it. 
It yeah. sounds like it would be very tricky, very particular to do, though. Uh, actually, a really good uh, example. Uh, the more recent Archie comics, they take they know when to take themselves seriously and when to be lighthearted, and it's actually it's actually really fucking good. I think not as good as Mega Man. Being fully animated. Yes. Than... Yeah. That, yeah. Because yeah, that's what, that's the what Green Hill Zone yeah. part looked really nice. Yeah, it did. But everything else just. Uh. It's like they did a really good job with the models themselves, but they didn't mesh well with the environments enough. They didn't mesh well with the environments, and their animation was, for lack of a better word, lacking. <laughs> it... It was lack. It was lacking in some parts, but the Green Hill Zone was good. Models Knuckle not good. Um, yeah, Knuckles. Also, Sonic uh, good. can defy gravity, which is not canon. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like he has slowed gravity to me. <laughs> Slow gravity in Adventure One, yeah, but not. He can just float straight in front of himself. <laughs> So I think that's it for Sonic the fan film. Yep. Hope Stay guys... tuned for the Mega Man fan no. film. No. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and then so... the Street Fighter fan film. No, it's it's an hour and 34 minutes. I'm not watching. <laughs> if, th- if this was like this, I'm not going to watch that. I'm running it's not. It's Man. worse. It's 40, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's 40 minutes of nothing. And then, like, 30 minutes of Mega Man whining about how he doesn't want to fight. And then, like, five minutes of Mega Man fighting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, so... Okay, well, people, <laughs> thanks for making it this far. Thanks for listening to us, bitch. <laughs> Hope yeah. you had a good time. I know I did. It was, yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it was It was. You can cool. see there was a lot of effort put into it. Yeah, it just yeah, like, wasn't put into the right place. Well, you can put a lot of a... effort into something. That doesn't mean it's going to be good. Like, yeah. But like, I could put a lot of effort into fucking uh, becoming president, <laughs> but that doesn't mean I'm a good candidate. <laughs> and like, yeah. they could have done good, but I think they wasted the their ability too. If they would have spent more time, like even like a, a ten minute film of just like the the Sonic Green Hill Zone right there with something about Eggman, that would have been nice. Yeah, it could have it could have been like you know more like a, a lighthearted thing where Sonic's just running through Green Hill. He sees Eggman taking like all the the animals, and he's like, "Hey, fuck you!" <laughs> yeah, and, and then, then if like you know, it's like how they first met, and Eggman's just like, "I'm gonna fucking kill you." Yeah, and then they had like a battle, and that that would have been amazing, and they would have probably spent as much effort putting into this whole almost 20 minute thing that they went into like a 10 minute thing. Yeah. And, then and you know, it, they wouldn't have to spend so much money flying all these internet celebrities out to record. Yeah. Which didn't even really have that. Cause like yeah, they, they had the Eagle only reason they did it was so, up, voice was so they would go and tweet or go yeah. on their Facebook yeah, and be it was like, Hey, I'm just, in this. W- yeah. Cause they didn't even give them speaking roles for most yeah eagle raptor had a speaking role but it was a robot one yeah and it's really hard it was... to tell which one yes so yeah uh... i couldn't even tell he was in it yeah all yeah, the, so... the comments are just full of everyone saying like did you know aaron's in this he's one yeah, of the robots like, <laughs> yeah, so... you know who else was in this the nostalgia critic and rental floss they didn't say anything and so, yeah. people mention that, but it's just you can easily tell they're in it. Yeah. Like if you if you know them, I don't watch either of them, so I don't know what they yeah. look like. But if you watch them, you can tell they're in it. But like Aaron, like his part was not even big. Yeah. And, yeah, I would not. If you had asked me if he was in, I would not have been able to tell you because I had yeah. no idea <laughs> until you just said it. And then, like, if they would have actually submitted like a ten minute full animation thing to Sega to have a full feature film. That would have been pretty cool, because I actually like Sonic, but what they're doing to the series is not good. That's why I'm not really into it. Because the idea of Sonic being like like the Sega's Mario kind of thing, it works. Because Sonic's a good character, he had good games, but it's ruining him because Sega's trying to like 
make him into something that he's not, and other people are trying to make him into something he's not, and it's ruining the character and creating a divide in the fan base of people who love him no matter what, and people who well, love him for Well, in recent the, uh, years, character. in terms of the tone, they have been getting better. Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric is terrible, but everything else having to do with Sonic Boom is ranges from okay to good. I feel like it's a two steps forward, one step back type thing, because we what? had colors and generations, um, and at least before that, and Lost World was divisive, and nobody likes Boom. <laughs> I hate Lost World. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, some people like it, some people hate it, but they tried to do, like, this kind of new thing they were experimenting. Was, well, which was the issue. In, the, <laughs> in an interview, Azuka, uh, the director Azuka said he felt that they did everything they could with the Boost games. But they were fun! <laughs> I know. <laughs> I wanted to play it still! <laughs> but yeah, sh- fan fictions like this need to stop. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's what this is. It's a fan fiction awareness. Yeah. Please it's... stop. You're hurting us. I just it's it's wasted wasted effort I think because I don't know it had real promise and then it turned into something that tried to take itself way too seriously for a character such as Sonic and they put way too much effort in things they shouldn't have. I think cause... Eddie LeBron just needs to never write anything again. I wouldn't say that because your writing skills can watch prove, the, but... if you watch the Mega Man film, you will say that. <laughs> His writing skills can improve, but where like to make something that's so drastic a character change from what Sonic really is, to put him in such a dark situation that is so out of character for him, for the whole Sonic universe, like hearing Doctor Robotnik like cursing Sonic and be like, "We have to kill him," it sounded weird. Yeah, but that's the problem that Shadow the Hedgehog had. That's the problem that Sonic 06 had. This came out in 2013. I don't understand how this came out. <laughs> I don't understand how they didn't understand that those were major problems yeah. with games prior. <laughs> well, it's because they were trying to adapt, like, the early, early Archie comics. And, aside from, like, two or three stories, they're really not that good. Ugh. <laughs> Like, mm. uh, issues like, f- I think it's 46 to 50, it's Endgame, the Endgame arc. It's really, really dark, but it's actually really good. Mm. And it's... Everything else Ken Penders has written, though, is fucking awful, and it's all fucking stupid love triangles no one cares about. Oh, God. Like... Also, uh, the, the, uh, Echidna fan fiction, uh, uh, sometimes including Knuckles. The only Roman Sonic as a series needs is Amy liking Sonic. And Sonic guess... being like, no. Yeah, that's yeah. the only romance it needs. I I hate the like the need that every creator has to like give him a romantic like interest because like you can do that, but he doesn't need one and don't try to force it because every time it see every time they put one in it just seems awkward as fuck. Sega actually made mandates for the Archie comics now so that uh, no so- uh, game characters can have love interests and they can't have families. <laughs> wow. Not, 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 like, ha- not like kids, but like parents and stuff. Except for Cream, because she has a mom. Yeah, that ship is sailed. Can't play orphans. Just... Uh... Well, I'm just uh, we've cause... gone on about yeah. ten minutes after the video, so yeah, I think we should cut it off here. Well, you know, we're commentating. That, that's what we do. We're, we're kind of like reviewing it, so it's a well, reaction. Well, we pretty much set our piece. Review. Now we're talking about yeah. other things. Well, we're still talking about Sonic. It just kind yeah. of changed to a podcast well, type thing. <laughs> yeah, we're going to probably end it off here, I guess. The Pixel Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We've yeah, got on. Okay. So, well, thank you guys for watching us review this. Yes, thanks. <laughs> see you and next time. Next time yep. for. Let's see. It'll so be whatever the fuck's next. Probably. Uh, probably Ink. <laughs> yeah. I'm going All to right. upload this like a month after Ink just to spite you. 
Okay, uh... Okay, bye.